Hi, I'm just going to explain the uh, difference between xerographic bond and inkjet bond because a lot of our clients um, get confused or they order something on the website and they order xerographic bond when they really should be ordering inkjet bond for their machine. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, explanation of the difference. This is xerographic bond. So usually, almost always, xerographic bond is on a three inch core. So the spindle that you put in this in this uh, roll here is um, usually fits a three inch core and um, we usually buy xerographic bond in 500 foot rolls so the xerographic machines like the, the that use toner toner based machines you can support really heavy rolls these 500 foot rolls these do not work on usually on an inkjet machine. Usually inkjet machines um, support only 150 foot or 300 foot rolls. And these um, are usually spun on two inch cores. So I'll show you the difference here too. This is an inkjet roll. This is 300 feet. Um, this is the same stuff. This is 36 inches long, um, 300 feet. And the core is two inches, and this is for an inkjet machine. The spindles usually, as I said, fit two inch cores. And then we have the same thing here. This is another 36 inch roll, but it's 150 feet long. Again, on a two inch core, same size as this. So if you were to put this roll on your geographic machine, you, you probably couldn't do it because it won't fit. And then if you were to put this geographic roll on your inkjet machine it couldn't support it. The spindle would be smaller and the roll would be too large and too heavy for your inkjet machine. So that's the difference between um, these two, two products.